what is up youtube i hope everybody's doing good today i'm doing real good but listen we got to keep it real sometimes because real good doesn't always mean you're experiencing joy i'm doing great but I'm looking at humanity, guys, like this controversy over the Olympic ceremony, right? The division that this is meant to cause, it's an atrocity. The fact that people don't understand that <clears throat> it is by design. And the fact that people are oblivious to the design, that is a burden that makes my heart rather heavy. But the fact that people are allowing religious extremism to still be a thing, this is also interesting because it, I, I'm gonna be flat on, I, I, I have to call out the LGBTQ. I have to call you motherfuckers out over one thing. You've been found on interviews saying that you found inspiration from this Last Supper inspired Olympic ceremony. Then the same leftist people, when Christians say, oh my God, you're offending us, which that's childish as well. Let's just face it. Um, how weak is your faith, Christian? You know? Seriously, I got to call you motherfuckers out too because it's all the same sort. That's the thing. <sighs> I digress. You've got people whining over this, bitching over being offended, but you're missing the entire point. Dionysus. There are those that say this is a Dionysian reconstructed ceremony. Okay, so which is it? Far left? Is it based on the Last Supper or is it not? See, because what you're acting like is, I mean, I got to be honest, a typical modern day insane woman who is just setting you up for conflict. You're just setting up all of humanity for conflict because you want to be seen as a fucking victim who needs attention. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're fucking females. Okay. You are more effectively female than the average woman walking around with a JJ and you have a penis. Are you happy now, motherfucker? Are you happy? Because here's the thing at the end of the day that everybody is missing, whether you're on the left or the right. Here's what's missing from your mind. And it's the most obvious thing. There's four, five, six-year-olds, boys and girls of all shapes sizes and colors and guess what there's a blue pecker hanging in their face and they don't consent there's a blue penis that belongs to a grown man and the face of young children that do not consent they don't have the wherewithal to consent this is grooming if this is in fact a dionysian festival that is being reconstructed and emulated, acting, being acted out for the sake of the Olympics, guess what? Dionysus was known to sleep with children. You are propagating pedophilia. So again, which is it, far left? Is this a Dionysian festival celebration that you are reconstructing? Or are you, for some reason, just trying to go out of your way to make Christians upset by being edgy? Which is it, motherfucker? Let's talk. My four-year-olds, my six-year-olds, my kids don't consent. So, what, you're propagating rape? Whew, that's a dirty word. Here on YouTube, it's a dirty word, right? But it's still a fucking thing, motherfucker. You're denying reality.
so I'm doing good. But when I look at humanity, ladies and gentlemen, I see problems. I see them. I see people for what they are. What you worry about, what you concern yourself with, it honestly speaks volumes in regard to your character and your level of spiritual maturity. And this is what you need to keep in mind. Religious corruption, which is being propagated on both sides here, has existed since religion. And you are fucking responsible for what you believe in. If you're gonna stand up for something, you better fucking know what you're standing for. If you are choosing to believe in something, it should be not because someone told you it is right or wrong. It should be because it is in alignment with the reality which you observe. You see, this is how it can be found as truth. This is how you find the divine. This is how you find God. All of the rest of this garbage that's dividing us, it's all lies. People run from truth and truth is God, okay? That what you run from, that's what you should be striving for most likely. That what you fear, that is on the other side of the gate of doth, that's what you should be seeking. Understand that all of the exoteric fluff and the symbolism, this is what the true enemy uses to sway your intelligence to be bound towards religion. If you want to free yourself from that, you have to cultivate your own relationship with the divine by being honest, by having integrity, and by simply checking things, man. Does this feel right in here? I mean, because I got to be honest, people arguing over this, it, it's, it's bad. It's a red flag for humanity. We're cooked. You're missing the point, y'all. There's a blue pecker swinging in the face of children. I mean, okay, it was removed. It doesn't matter. Like, where's the priorities here? <laughs> There's a time and a place. You know what I mean? So we have to come to understand that. We have to be able to look at reality from this observable space because it's observable and we have to learn to not deny it. This isn't rocket science. God can be seen everywhere. Ooh. It's easy. When you cultivate that relationship with divinity, it's easy. This is what cultivates discernment. This is what allows you to come to understand what lies are as soon as they cross you. Oh, this is terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the point anymore, please. Stop missing the point. Understand that this is not about fighting against people because they're gay. It's not about fighting against people because they're lesbian. It's not about fighting against people because they're trans. It's not about fighting against people because they're Christian or Catholic. No, it's not about using both sides of this argument to dominate Eastern religion. No, that's stupidity. It isn't about oppressing some subculture. It's about the fact that you are literally oblivious to the fact that you're victimizing young children that don't even have the wherewithal to consent to your sexual abhorrence. In perfect love, in perfect trust, devour, destroy, become or be crushed. Curtis Joseph, signing out.